Okay, now here's the thing. Okay, now it's about time I should explain. This is the thing. No, this is actually the thing. N no. I, I mean, quite literally, it is called... The Thing. Here's the thing. Quite literally, here is the thing. We're not going to drive it because it's bottom of D class. Because, like, we are going to drive it a little bit. We're going to drive it. We have a freaking light speed. 46 horsepower. And you weigh less than a ton. But we are not going to drive this thing. I drove it before and has a test top speed of 76 miles an hour. We're not going to settle for that. We are going to do some um, funky shit to this thing because this thing is funky. Okay. We do have customization, but first, do we have body kits? We do not, but I feel like we should swap the engine first or make it all wheel drive first. So we have a 1.6 liter, 46 horsepower, something, a turbo rally. Porsche flat six, another Porsche flat six, or nah, we go uh, turbo rally. Okay, now with the customization on this thing, uh, what? I don't even know what to do with. Yeah, excuse me, just had raviolis. I don't know what to do with this thing. Oh, that's cool. That is not cool. That uh, this okay, this thing is just questionable. To say the least, um, I have no idea what to do with this. Do we keep that bumper? Do we remove the bumper? There is a build I do want to try. That I, yes, I did see uh, Nick do it. Airtop Nick. And I want to try it myself, which means we should probably get the most powerful motor. The one with the most torque, specifically. This one has the most torque. And let's max it out. See how see what we can get out of it. Because what he did was a wheelie build. And I wanna try one for myself. Which means we really have to up the torque a lot. Anti-lag on them turbos. It's intercooler and a race flywheel gets us gets us 845 uh, foot pounds of torque. If you go with the most expensive engine, then that will get us we're looking for 845. That's 933, okay, so this one is much better. So you remove all the weight from this thing. We go with the drag tires, sticking them up in the rear. You will go fix the fitment on the rears, and you will choose some lighter wheels. Basically, want all the weight to be in the back of this thing. So that means we need as little weight in the front. We are rear engine, rear wheel drive. So that'll help us a lot. We'll go race springs. We will fix that. We will do an actual wheelie tune. This puts more weight. We'll, we'll reduce the weight anyways. That puts us more towards the middle as well. Okay, so I want to check. Are we on racing slicks or drag slicks? Okay. I guess that's it. Uh, actually, no. 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 You want, no. If you want to do a wheelie build, follow that. But no. Let's be original here. Let's be original. We don't want to copy people, okay? I have no idea what to do for this thing in full honesty. Um, This is a weird thing. We're going back to Turbo Rally, back to all-wheel drive. We are doing off-road race tires. We'll thicken those up as well. We will do that. With the wheels, there's a good American racing. These. Right there, okay. I'm having a brain fart. Like, today was just a weird day. Race drive line, offer a diff, and then we go. You can pretty much do anything. I feel like this is more of an off road car, but you can really do whatever you want with it. But I'm gonna treat it as an off road car, so. Also, I really wish that you can change the, or like take the top off of this thing, because I feel like that's kind of what it's made for. Alright, and then we go. We could make this thing top of A class. We got like freaking 500. I mean, yeah, 640 horsepower to this. She's and we're super light too. Two liter, well, 1.9. I'm, I'm having a brain fart. Literally all day, I've just been having a brain fart because there's probably like nothing to do anymore. 
here's the th yes, I do have another water ball. Here's the thing with summer. You have all the time on your hands, but nothing to do. And with school, you have so much you have to do, but no time on your hands to do it or anything else you like. That's the thing. That is the thing. Yeah. There's really not much uh, to talk about with this thing. But so cool, so cool, still weird, quirky vehicle. It's just kind of fun to have. Like it just, it's just goofy. Seriously, you cannot paint the top. We do have a swapping three colors for this. Dude, my back is really itchy. I, keep, I swear to God, I get like ten bug bites a day. All right, now this thing, I that's just the stock color, isn't it? That's not really a stock color. But I think I might go with another. Uh, colored camo on this so we will do the snow camo and then <clears throat> we else we won't touch those and yeah there's not really much you could do with this yeah we have like two bumper options but i mean yeah yeah today it's kind of a boring day nothing going on seriously i got a freaking i got a really really nice like i said it's missing a piece the, for the, oh wait, that 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 paints the top. Sweet. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Great. So now I have to freaking adjust this. Or yeah, I gotta adjust it. That's even all around. That's the thing with the thing. Like, there's not really anything with the thing though. That's that's the thing. There's nothing with, there's nothing, no, there's nothing, that's the thing with the thing. It's just kind of there. It's just a car in Forza. Nothing really notable about it, except the fact that it's really weird. And how come we can only paint the, um, we can only paint the tarp on, like, the sides? It's weird. It is very, very weird. Yeah, this thing is just straight up goofy. Alright. Post it on this side. But, uh, flip it. There's really, like, nothing to talk about with this car, really. I mean, it just kind of exists in Forza. And it's cool. It's cool to have. That's pretty much it. It's just some like if I could really put the thing into words, it's the thing about the thing is there's no thing about the thing. Like there's nothing really notable with this car. It's just there. It's just weird. That's pretty much it. And you can't even take you can't even take the top off in Forza Vista or anything. You can't open the front or anything like that because the engine's in the back. Yet there is no thing with the thing, I guess. I was honestly kind of excited for this car, because I wanted to see what it had, and it had, like, nothing, so. It is a bit quick, though. I will say, it is a bit quick. Yeah, there's really nothing to uh, say about the thing. It's just kind of here. Now that I painted green, I realize it, it looks like the freaking Grinch. It looks like the Grinch. It genuinely looks like the Grinch. What are you doing? But what is that? Is that an escort? That, that's a racing escort. You're level 34, and you barely upgraded that thing. Okay, oh, bye. We have, like, how much horsepower? Like, 600? 645 horsepower. Did, didn't we also have to... Did we, did we put the same engine in the SP2? Oh my god, we did. So, I prefer the SP2. That thing is amazing. This thing is just, um... Something. I mean... It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's just... You can't really put it into words. Maybe, maybe it's something I don't understand. Because there's not really anything to understand about the thing other than its name. It's just... There, kind of. Nothing exactly notable about it. 
Yeah, if we kind of wanted a Volkswagen, um, could have got that Touareg back, the diesel Touareg. Or the Tiguan R, because the, um, the thing, it is just not the thing, you know?